Today we're here at the 912 uh, Wake Up America Summit for Sarasota, and we're here with Alex Snitker, the fourth option for the Senate race in Florida. The best option. The best option. And he's going to answer some questions that I've prepared, so uh, here we go. First of all, who are you? I'm Alex Snicker, the Libertarian candidate for the U.S. Senate, regular citizen, not a career politician, and a strict uh, constitutionalist. Okay. And that kind of cuts into the second question, but what do you stand for? Uh, I stand for a constitutionally limited federal government. I think that we need to address those issues and create the conditions for the free market in order to get out of the current problems that we're in right now. And uh, how much progress when you first put in your bid for this impossible, what seems to be impossible Senate race, how much progress have you covered? Oh, or made? immense. This is historic. I mean, we have over 300 volunteers, all unpaid. If you look at any other campaigns for the major offices, all of their people are paid. We have a bunch of people that are willing to work extra hard in order to make sure that this happens. And, you know, I, I get better with the message every day, so that, that works out pretty well um, to be able to, you know, you know, greatly uh, refine it, be able to talk about it even better. Um, but I don't use speeches or anything along those lines. Um, no, it's, it's been phenomenal. It's been, it's been very humbling, as a matter of fact. Very good. Is there, is there a, a numbers, like a placement chart, where you started at the bottom? What placement would you, would you say the polls have you in now? Fourth. 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 Solid fourth. Solid fourth. Very good, very good. And it's come to my attention recently that you were supposed to debate all of the other candidates, Rubio, Meek, and uh, Green, is it? No. Chris. Chris, Chris, at uh, a Meet the Press uh, debate. Why were you not allowed? Well, I, I, if you want my opinion as to why that they ignore us is because they don't really want a regular guy in office. I think that the media is satisfied with corrupt career politicians. They want to keep the narrative going that way. Uh, I wish that they would change their minds and allow regular citizens an opportunity to debate the issues. However, as it stands right now, they're going to do everything in their power to ensure that doesn't happen. It doesn't mean our voices can't be heard, though, because the one thing we were able to do there is to protest NBC Studios, and we were able to put a commercial on their on their program talking about the travesty. Now, the, the debate got canceled in and of itself because of some unfortunate things that happened that, you know, you, you can't stop those things from happening. Um, but. You know, we're going to get a chance with these guys. We're definitely going to get a chance. I know we'll be in the same place that uh, one of the candidates will be on the 18th. And I'm going to make sure that I'm in places where these guys know where I'm at and are going to have to see me and deal with me. Excellent, excellent. And uh, is there anything, if we were able to set up an interview for C-SPAN, because this will make its way to C-SPAN, what would you like to tell the producers of the Washington Journal? Well, what I would tell them is this. If you really want some entertaining television that people want to actually watch and see, you should put me on. You get the same cliches from all three of those guys. They're nothing but a bunch of career politicians. They won't give you straight answers to the questions. I'm the only guy in this race that gives you straight answers to the questions. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you for your time. And that was Alex Snitker on this beautiful day in Sarasota. We are the press.